Hey guys, so this is my first video. I'll be talking about my diet and health protocol. So I want to break down the three pillars of weight loss for myself. This is my own uh, anecdotal experience. Take what you want from it and see if it works for you. So the three pillars to my success for weight loss are as follows. So there's a big pillar, a medium pillar, and a small pillar. So starting off, the first pillar is your diet. Yes, you guessed it right. You are what you eat. You are what you absorb. Abs are made in the kitchen. I'll be going into this a bit more, but First off, let's just go to the other two. So the second pillar of medium importance is your time eating window, when you eat and uh, how long you eat for. So basically the intermittent fasting, this has been instrumental for me and not so much in the beginning stages of weight loss, but more towards the end and really leaning down. So if you don't want to practice this at first, you don't want to try this at first, that's fine. Definitely do the diet first, that'll have the biggest impact. And the third pillar the, of least importance, but still important, is um, exercise and your sleep habits. So if you have a job that where you work uh, the night shift, you might want to find a new job that is very bad for your health and it's very bad for weight loss. You should be sleeping with the sun and get your, cir cir blah, blah, blah. Get your circadian rhythm in order and it'll help with weight loss. There's actually proven studies showing this, so. Okay, first off, the diet. Um, so what diet do I do? Well, I started off, I, I've been a meat eater for 32 years of my life, and I switched to a plant-based diet after nothing else worked. And I was uh, vegan for three weeks, and then I failed, because I did it just for health reasons. And then I watched a couple documentaries, including Cowspiracy and Earthlings. Earthlings really did it for me. I couldn't even watch half the movie. Then I switched to a, a vegan diet, a plant-based diet for um, ethical reasons. And ever since I've been eating plant-based for the past three years, over three years now, that's what's kept me doing that. And I didn't do it for the health reasons, but I gained the benefits from the health of it. So the weight loss benefits and other health benefits, clearing all my arteries. I actually just got my blood tested and it's phenomenal. It's my doctor's never seen blood like that, which is his words, not mine. Maybe I'll go over my blood results in another video. But so first off my diet, um, I've actually varied it quite a bit. When I first went vegan, I ate a lot of really high carb, really, really low fat, 80, 10, 10 kind of macros, 80% calories coming from carbohydrates, 10% fat, 10% protein. You're gonna have to play with your macros for yourself because everyone's body's different. But for me personally right now, my macros vary between 55 and 65% um, calories from carbohydrate and then between 10 and 18 percent protein and 15 to 22 percent fat so yeah i actually eat quite little protein and i don't think it i'm a little i'm a little smaller right now because i haven't been to the gym in a while but you know i'm not like super skinny so i can easily put on muscle with just the 10 10 to 15 percent calories from protein that's my macro breakdown uh, the kind of meals i eat I typically have a smoothie bowl every day. I don't drink smoothies anymore, which is something I did do. The reason for that is you wanna mix your saliva with your food, because there's digestive enzymes for carbo carbohydrate in your saliva that will help break it down. So if you turn your smoothies into a smoothie bowl, kind of like an acai bowl that you get in Hawaii, then it's a lot better for digestion. So I typically have a smoothie bowl. I try to put one frozen fruit, blend that up with either water or almond milk and some greens. Then I mix in some cereal or granola and some puff rice and I usually put some sort of nut or seed, like hemp seeds or peanuts or something. I found more weight loss benefits by adding a fat to every meal, and there is actually science backing this up, that the adding fat to every meal will increase the absorption of your nutrients. I mean, there's a whole rabbit hole here, but you, add, you need all the trace minerals to release the fat, like chromium and vanadium. These open the cells to let the fat to be used as energy. I actually talked to my dad about this. My dad's a doctor. He's actually seen, I think at the hospital, they, they had started adding um, chromium to a bunch of the patients' uh, diets and they started losing a bunch of weight. So I don't recommend going out there and supplementing with chromium or vanadium, but you know, you wanna get a full spectrum of trace minerals in your diet. So basically just eat a variety of colored foods from green to purple, red, all that stuff, and you'll just you'll get it in your diet. You don't have to worry about it. So for my second meal, it's almost always avocado toast. I mix up the spices, whether it's paprika, turmeric, uh, nutritional yeast, pepper. There's always hot sauce on there and avocado. Those are the staples. And for my third meal, it's usually I mix it up with different kind of carb, whether it's sweet potatoes, potatoes, pasta, something else with bread, like a sandwich. I also do a lot of quinoa and corn and green peas. I'm currently, the lot of meals I'm eating are really cheap because I don't have a lot of money to spend on food. Just kind of a flip side of kind of how I've been living for a long time now. I've been eating mostly organic for the last 
I don't know, 12, 15 years. And right now I'm actually having to go back to not doing that because I'm doing YouTube full time right now. I don't work in the video game industry anymore, but that was my choice to make. So if you want some tips on how to eat vegan or plant-based very cheap, let me know in the comments down below. I have quite a bit of experience with that now. So something to stay away from is all those kind of bars like Cliff Bars and all those things with a lot of added sugar. If you're gonna add any added sugar, I'd recommend staying below 12 to 15 grams per day. If you're gonna have any of those bars, you want ones that just use like a whole plant food to sweeten it like dates. If you start consuming a bunch of those things like Cliff Bars and all those kind of things, you're just gonna jack up your sugar so fast. The sugar gets metabolized into fat much easier than if it's paired with all the fiber and phytonutrients that's meant to be with. It's a package deal, you wanna eat whole plants, stay away from refined sugar. And on that note, I don't eat processed foods ever, I, and I don't eat fried food either. The only thing processed that I eat is tempeh, and tempeh is not really processed, it's fermented and you know, basically a bunch of mold grows on the um, soybeans. And speaking of soy, I don't eat tofu either, and that's because my body can't digest tofu very well. But I'll make a whole other video on this, but you're gonna have to test out which foods your body can digest. So that just about does it for this one. This is basically just an overview, so you have an idea of what I'm doing, what's worked for me, what's made me drop like 80 something pounds. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll be happy to answer anything. And until next one, guys, have a great day.